Dashboard is a web-based Kubernetes user interface. You can use Dashboard to deploy containerized applications to a Kubernetes cluster, troubleshoot your containerized application, and manage the cluster resources. Dashboard also provides information on the state of Kubernetes resources in your cluster and on any errors that may have occurred. In this video, we will cover Kubernetes Dashboard in CKS exam, what is Kubernetes Dashboard, Overview of Exposing, Accessing and RBAC with the Kubernetes Dashboard. In the end, we will also share details about a free Kubernetes Masterclass, which will not only help you understand basics, but it will also give you an idea of the learning path to follow. It would be helpful especially when you are preparing for Kubernetes Certification, that's Certified Kubernetes Administrator CKA or Certified Kubernetes Security Specialist, that's CKS. Welcome to another episode of Docker and Kubernetes video series from K21 Academy. We have taken a clip from one of our certification training program on Kubernetes Security Specialist, that's CKS. And in this clip, our expert will talk about Kubernetes Dashboard. So this is a clip taken from a module on Dashboard, Network Policy, Ingress Control, Secure Metadata and Endpoints. Let's hear from an expert on the same. In this lesson, we are going to look at Kubernetes and Dashboard. So first we'll cover theory and then later we'll have in the next lesson, we'll have a hands-on lab or activity guide. So you can perform uh, creating this uh, dashboard or deploying this dashboard um, on a Kubernetes cluster and you can access and test it how this dashboard look like. So first, this dashboard uh, comes under the CKS exam, um, under the GUI elements, under the 10% cluster setup um, uh, section. So if you see this minimize use and access of to GUI element, uh, this is what it's going to be uh, focused. A lot of companies, those who are implementing Kubernetes and they want GUI, they also have the dashboard is the way to manage, build, manage and uh, deploy uh, artifacts or components or applications on Kubernetes through a graphical user interface. So this is how the dashboard look like. You'll be able to access it and install and configure yourself uh, later when you perform the uh, uh, hands-on lab. So let's first understand what is dashboard. Dashboard, as I said earlier, is a web-based Kubernetes interface or a graphical user interface to manage um, your Kubernetes cluster. So it can be used to deploy a containerized applications to a Kubernetes cluster. It can also use to manage, uh, create, destroy, um, or add, update, or troubleshoot any cluster related uh, issues. So you can see the log file as well. Whatever you see on this here, right hand side here, these are all uh, menu items you can use. So you can see jobs, persistent volumes, uh, networking, um, replica sets, all those components or artifacts that are part of Kubernetes can be done here. Now, typically you limit the Kubernetes access only from the machine where you have installed kubectl uh, because kubectl has all the configuration and you want to restrict it. Uh, if you want to expose, um, you can expose dashboard externally, uh, but only if required. And when I say externally, I mean in the public interface or on a public URL. Now, there are different ways to expose uh, Kubernetes dashboard. Um, so one is kubectl port forward, and we'll see that in a minute, what does kubectl port forward means. Um, um, so second method is kubectl proxy, and these two methods can be accessible only when only from a machine where you have installed kubectl and have downloaded the configuration uh, from Kubernetes cluster onto the kubectl. The typical way you use command line interface from the same machine. Now you have done kubectl and you have done configuration of Kubernetes cluster in one of the previous modules where we did the cluster setup. So make sure you refer uh, to the cluster setup and kubectl and um, you can use one of these machines where you have installed or downloaded kubectl uh, the port, for, port forward or proxy, I'll explain it in a minute what this mean. Or you can access uh, Kubernetes dashboard through a Kubernetes service. Uh, you can create a Kubernetes service. This dashboard will run on top of a, um, a pod um, and that pod can be uh, configured with a service in front of the pod so that you can access it. 
Um, so typically you can use um, any of service type like Noteport or cluster IP or load balancer and these we learned service in services module or basic concepts. I'm assuming you're already clear with this service concept. If you're not, again, you can ask support or on WhatsApp group. Then you have ingress controller, which is uh, layer seven. You can configure ingress controller as well on top in front of this dashboard and access it via the ingress controller, which the layer seven um, application uh, load balancer. Uh, then uh, make sure that if you expose or configure dashboard, make sure you provide um, dashboard will connect to your Kubernetes cluster through a service account. So make sure you configure role based access control onto that service account and give only the necessary privileges, whatever you want to give the person uh, dashboard. One thing to remember is if you're exposing this dash, uh, this dashboard externally, make sure you use LDAP. Um, so user first authenticates um, to the dashboard uh, in order and then only the uh, respective access can be granted. So one thing to remember on that. So that's about a dashboard. Now let's look at the different method kubectl proxy or kubectl port forward or ingress controller. And then finally we look at the demo part. So that was a clip taken from one of the lessons from a step-by-step -step training program on Kubernetes Security Specialist. We have put down everything about the certification, including some of the basic concepts that one should be knowing for CKS certification. From bootstrapping Kubernetes cluster using Kube ADM, cluster setup, cluster hardening, minimizing vulnerabilities, securing supply chain, logging to system hardening in this seven week roadmap where we take you from basics like installation and configuration to CKS expert along with tips and resources for clearing the certification exam. We also have CV preparation and on job support. So if you want to become certified Kubernetes security specialist and want to learn right from basics to an expert level, then we have a comprehensive step-by-step -step training program for you that includes seven modules, 35 lessons, 30 hands-on labs, including exam preparation, and the most important part, one year on job support. If you're interested in this program, then I would highly recommend you to attend our free class, which covers right from why you should learn Kubernetes to CKS training program. We also include topics like security in Kubernetes, the four C's of security, security lifecycle, and Kubernetes certifications. Then we will also talk about CKS exam topics and sample questions. So if you are interested or just starting out, then I highly recommend you to attend this free class by visiting k21academy.com slash Kubernetes SEC02. Just enter your name and email address so you can attend this free class. In the upcoming video, we will talk about using Kube Control Proxy, Kube Control Port Forwarding, ingress control dashboard demo using node port kubernetes dashboard official documentation so please subscribe so you don't miss out on our upcoming video on accessing kubernetes dashboard